some wet weather for today. Now waking up uh, again, it's dry, a little chilly out there for some of us waking up uh, in the 60s. Temperatures are just not going to go up too much today. More about uh, the mid 60s as we get into the afternoon, but we are going to fight some cloud cover and also rain that will be moving in. So that's going to keep our temperatures down a little bit. One thing to note too, if you're traveling on Interstate 80 eastward this morning, you're going to run into some fog. Visibility has been a little low there from Grinnell to Iowa City, but again, once the clouds move in, that'll probably lift a little bit. We've had a clear skies out toward the east, more cloud cover to the west. Again, starting to see those showers become a little bit more numerous uh, into parts of Nebraska, even a few thunderstorms too, and uh, South Dakota. So again, this disturbance is going to continue to pull toward the east this morning, so we are going to see that wet weather here arriving in the next couple of hours. I think really the wettest part of the day will be late morning into midday, and then as we get into the late part of the afternoon, early evening, we're already going to start to see these uh, storms uh, progress toward the east, so we'll see clouds uh, kind of break apart in the western part of the state later on this afternoon. So here's lunchtime again noon going to be wet at times as we get a little bit more or we have a little bit more instability in eastern Iowa today. We could have a few stronger storms out of that, but look by six o'clock again breaks in the clouds, maybe a few lingering showers out there, but the overall trend for tonight will dry out waking up tomorrow morning could see a little patchy fog as well. And it's going to be chilly in the 40s and we'll get more sunshine in for tomorrow, so expect a brighter day for tomorrow versus today. Now again, eastern Iowa has a chance to see more of the stronger storms. There's a slight risk of severe weather. Main threat will be some hail and some high winds. Once you get into Illinois, there's an isolated tornado chance. So if you're headed maybe to Chicago today where we have that warmer air mass, that's where stronger storms will develop behind the front. Again, cooler air arrives and will stay unsettled today with scattered showers and storms. Brighter days ahead though tomorrow and Thursday, but it won't last long because rain returns Friday night into Saturday. Look at those highs in the 50s. So definitely a chilly, wet weekend on tap, Rhea.